President Emerson Nangagwa yesterday endorsed the disputed results of his ZANU-PF party's provincial elections and urged members to accept the outcome. He also rallied all party members to work together for the good of the party. Addressing a ZANU-PF Politburo session at the party headquarters in Harare following the contentious provincial elections held last week, the president said, As we deliberate on the report of the elections, I urge all members of the party to be mindful of the fact that in our party there are no winners and losers. It is the people and ultimately the party that wins. Party cadres, who did not make it in the recent elections, must avail themselves, their experiences, skills and competencies to build and grow our mass party. Just as iron sharpens iron, the spirit of camaraderie and collegiality must be harnessed as we all serve this great party, ZANU-PF and the nation as a whole. An election lost never dampens the revolutionary spirit of any cadre, but inspires them to learn, develop and mature in their political career. The ZANU-PF elections were reportedly marred by violence and vote rigging, with several losing candidates petitioning party commissar Michael Bimhead demanding a rerun. After the Politburo meeting, ZANU-PF spokesperson Christopher Mitzbangwa said the party had resolved to endorse the results despite the rigging claims and investigate the allegations later. He, however, said the outcome of the investigations would not alter the outcome of the polls. Mitzbangwa said the party would suspend members who instigated violence during the party's internal polls. The president chastised those who did not want to participate in the elections in a fair, transparent and accountable manner. Those who are prone to try to shortchange the system and or other indiscipline will be suspended if the evidence is brought before the disciplinary committee, Mitzvangwa said. Those who lost, the party is big. It has the wings of the chicken, all the chicks will be able to be accommodated somehow. But the principle that it is an election and not an appointment is fundamental. Those who lost must accept defeat. Dot Party Commissar Bimha also confirmed that the Politburo had endorsed the results, adding that the outcome of the proposed investigations would guide the party's future elections. The results have been endorsed. The issues that were discussed are how we should do things in the future, issues to do with taking disciplinary action on those who were offending, but that didn't affect the results. We will ensure that we take disciplinary action where there have been offenses, Bimha added. ZANU-PF will, however, organize provincial elections for the Matabel and North Provincial Youth Wing, after all the candidates were disqualified because they were over 35 years. Some party officials told Newsday that unconfirmed results indicated that a faction linked to Nangagwa was sharing control of the 10 provinces with one aligned to Vice President Constantino Chuenka, some of whose candidates were controversially disqualified from the race. Mashonland West Provincial Affairs Minister Mary Mliswa Chikoka trounced her three rivals in the party provincial chairmanship race to become the first woman to lead a province in the ruling party's history. She was battling it out with Mackand MP and Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services Deputy Minister Kindness Paradza, former provincial youth chairman Bengai Musengi and ex-Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation Chief Executive Officer Hapasan Machechetir. Acting party provincial chairperson Abia Mujeri withdrew from the race at the last minute after reportedly facing resource challenges, with sources indicating that he lost the vehicle allocated to him as acting provincial leader on the eve of the polls. Other candidates who won the chairmanship include Robison Mavanyengwa, Ms. Bingo, Kazim Kazim, Mashonaland Central, Jabulani Sabanda, Bulawayo, Nkabazitha Mangalison Lovu, Matabeland South, Godwills Masimarembwa, Harare, Albert Nyakuedzwa, Manikaland, and Richard Moyo, Matabeland North.
Nangagwa's alleged preferred candidate Larry Mabhima was elected unopposed in the Midlands province amid reports of imposition to avoid widening divisions and possible heavy loss in the president's home province. In Mashonaland East, Goramanzi North MP Ozia's boot, who had covered ground in the province, was disqualified under a cloud from the list of candidates a day before the polls resulting in Housing and Social Amenities Minister Daniel Garwa snatching the provincial chairmanship. Other party heavyweights who fell by the wayside in the polls include Ms. Bingo Provincial Affairs Minister Ezra Chad Zamira, Home Affairs Deputy Minister Mike Madero, Manicaland, and Local Government Deputy Minister Marion Chambo, Mashonaland West, who contested in the basket system while angling for the provincial vice chairperson's position.